I think love is the most powerful things. It's energy. You could do a lot of good things for people, for the world, for the land, for the universe we live. Those paintings are all about love. And also I have two installation work, like uh, my mom and my hometown, which used the wool. From the old days, people wear the sweaters from their mom or grandma um, handmade. Those used the wool, people don't use it today, but they don't want to throw away because those things really kept the warm memories. Another uh, work is called I Love Heavy Metal. Because I from the industry city, Shenyang, that's my hometown. And I often went to the factories with my papa when I was in my childhood. Those metal for me is like a toy. I feel it's easy to make make uh, artwork for me. These are works that are not responding to what's happening in popular culture. They're not responding to rap music, to films, to greater changes in our society. She's not looking to create work that is, as the fashion industry says, directional, season-based, idea-based. She's looking to make work that is of meaning to her. And what is of meaning to her is connecting with people, being able to communicate universally, across borders, across cultures, across languages. I know New York because uh, from the music, from the early 60s, 70s, 80s. When I got here in the 1997, I was a singer, songwriter. And then I also visit uh, MoMA and the Metropolitan Museum. And I realized the contemporary art is really touching and then connecting with music. And then I started to come here often, and then I was spending more time to live here. I first saw some of Ai Jing's early works at a gallery in New York. I was impressed at the time with the diversity and volume of painting she was making, with the depth of seriousness with which she approached the process of making painting, and her attachment not just to making extraordinarily beautiful paintings, but also paintings that had a strong emotional or social component to them. Well, I think uh, Ai Jing's paintings have evolved, like the work of all artists. She puts less paint on the surface now, or is actually painting more but then scraping it back. She likes to kind of mix and experiment with her materials. And I think originally it started out as a process of experimentation, but today it's also a process of science for her because she knows how her materials are going to perform when she begins using them. We need love. There are so many things happen in the universe. Um, some things are bad. People are still, has no home. Uh, there's still some wall and um, hunger. Through the material, you can make imagination. You could uh, start hoping again. These are the works in some ways that are easy to overlook, but there's a delicacy, an intimacy, 
and also a great subtlety to the texture and the variety of the words and I like them because in a way I feel it's a moment in which I Jing is speaking but with a minimal amount of material. Right now I, I think I'm a crafts woman. I'm making art by hand. I put my uh, passion, imagination. I Jing has a strong devotion to the process of making. And so I'm a very strong proponent and supporter of work that has a strong craft element. In the case of I Jing, process and materials are the core of her painting process. And so for her, she needs to work with those materials in order to get the effect she wants. I really into it, enjoy it, and then I want to share it.